Hey guys, welcome to beautiful Cambodia. We are at the Cambodia Wildlife Sanctuary. I've got three beautiful elephants behind me. Now these elephants have recently been rescued from logging camps. So the, for the first time in their whole life, they're feeling what it's like to be free and at peace. And it's truly a beautiful thing to see. And today they're actually going to be joining us for our vinyasa peaceful elephant flow. So we'll see how that goes. But for you guys, I just want you to think about letting go of any tension, any stress you may be feeling in your body and just really enjoying the next 20 minutes. So if you're ready, grab your mat and let's do it. All right, let's begin our practice today in child's pose. Getting down comfortably onto your mat. Reaching those fingertips to the front of your mat. We've got a lot of friends today joining us at the Cambodia Wildlife Sanctuary. So just enjoy their company here with us. Let's take another deep breath in. Exhale out. Slowly rounding up to your all fours position. Slightly bring the knees together. Let's begin with our cat cow. Inhale. And exhale, rounding the spine. Inhale, dropping the belly. Look up to the sky. Exhale, round the spine. And again, inhale. Exhale, nice warm up for the back. Good. Come back to neutral, extending your right leg all the way out. Make sure the hips are square. Tuck the belly button in. Now you're going to tuck the bottom toes under and lift the knee off the mat. So you're just hovering that left knee, maybe about an inch or two. Pulling the belly button to your spine and then extending into your one-legged downward facing dog. And then slowly from here, we're going to bend that top knee. We're going to bring all of our weight to the front into your plank and bring the knee to chest for one. Extend all the way up towards the sky and then exhale knee to chest for two. Inhale, reach it up to the sky. And then bring the knee to chest for three, warming up the core here. And again, inhale, reach up to the sky. And then exhale, knee to chest, hold. Extend up to the sky. And then from here, we're going to step that top foot to the very front of your mat between the two hands. Good. Coming into your high lunge, finding your center. And then from here, extending, bringing that forehead to your knee, squaring out the hips. So again, pull that right hip back. Bring it back to your high lunge on your inhale. Exhale, extend and away. Good, and a few more here. Inhale, bring oxygen into your lungs. And then exhale, extend, feeling that gentle lengthening stretch along the right side. Good, inhale, hold. Exhale, extend, stretch, folding from the hips, really thinking about that forehead reaching the knee. Coming back to center and then reaching both arms up to the sky into your high lunge. Make sure that front knee is directly on top of the ankle. Opening the chest, opening the heart. See how far you can release here. And then releasing the arms behind your back, interlacing the fingers, extending those elbows. Hold, find your balance. Really letting go of any tension in the chest and the shoulders. Reaching the arms back up to the sky and then stepping forward into your Tadasana. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. 
Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, swan dive all the way down into your forward fold. Inhale, lengthening into your halfway posture. Exhale, step or hop back into your plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome. Holding your downward facing dog here, really think about getting as deep as you can into this asana. Allowing the sternum to release deep down into the mat, really opening through the upper back. Fingers are spread open. From here, rounding through the spine into your plank. And then pushing your way back into your downward facing dog. And then moving into our flow here, coming into your plank again. And then exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Pressing those heels as far down as you can. And then slowly making your way back down onto your knees and going into the other side. Left leg extending out. Check those hips. Engage the core. And then once you're ready, you're going to tuck your right toes under. And then just simply lift that right knee and hover it. Engaging every muscle in your body. Hold. This is a great way to wake up every muscle. And then extending into your one-legged downward dog. Hold it here. Breathe in, bending that knee. Exhale, coming into plank, touching the left knee to your chest for one. Inhale, extend all the way up. Exhale, bring it into your chest for two. Make sure you have a goal of bringing that knee as close to your chest as possible each time. Let's take it in for three. And one last time. Reach up. Exhale. Bring it in for four. Inhale. Reach up to the sky. And then when you're ready, exhale, stepping between the two hands. Great job. Coming into your lunge position. And slowly from here, extending that front leg, squaring up the hips, push the right hip forward, pull the left hip back. Inhale, and then exhale, extending for two. Working with your breath here. So on your inhale, really breathe in all the oxygen. And then as you exhale, let it go as you extend and lengthen the muscle. Providing it that nice stretch. Inhale again. And exhale, extend and hold. Staying present with your breath here. Continuing to push yourself a little deeper with each exhale. Inhale, let's come back into your lunge and reach the arms up to the sky now. High lunge, reach up. Open up the chest, open up the heart. And then let's take the arms back, interlace the fingers, extending those elbows and again opening the chest and see if you can sink a little lower with those hips. But again, making sure that the top knee is on top of that ankle. Wonderful. One more deep breath in. Exhale, reaching the arms up to the sky. And then slowly taking the arms down, palms grounded. Stepping back into your plank position. And then taking your Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Bending the knees, looking to the top of the mat, step or hop forward. And then from here, let's take an inhale, come up halfway, lengthen through the spine. And then as you exhale, taking our standing forward fold. If you need to slightly bend the knees, please do. Just make sure you're not rounding in the lumbar spine. Holding this posture, if you like to go deeper, you can always bring those palms underneath your feet. 
Just taking a deep breath in again. And then exhale, come on up to standing. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, swan dive to the mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, step or hop back into plank. Take your chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And exhale, pushing back into your downward facing dog. Hold it here, find your breath. Allow that sternum to fall even further towards the mat. Taking a deep breath in into your nose. And a very long exhale out through your mouth. Let all that tension go. This is your moment. This is your practice. Let's take one more deep breath in as you come into plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog on your inhale again. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Go ahead and reach the right leg up to the sky at this time. Bending the right knee, we're going to step between the two hands into your lunge position. At this time, reaching the arms up to the sky, high lunge. And then from here, taking your eagle arms, so one elbow over the other, interlace the wrists, and see if you can bring both palms together. Again, just finding your balance, engaging the core, taking a deep breath into your nose. And as you exhale, bring all of your weight to the front, lift the back knee, and then take your eagle posture. So crossing the knee, left knee over right. And then if you can not interlace the ankles, that's totally fine. You can just keep the knees crossed. Otherwise, see if you can go ahead and bring the toes around the back ankle. Slowly come back up. From here, that left ankle comes behind grab it with your left hand and taking your dancer's pose now this is too advanced for some of you please stay with just that hamstring stretch where you pull the ankle to your glute otherwise go ahead and try the dancer's pose reaching with the front fingers like you're trying to touch something in front of you like there's a beautiful elephant in front of you good and then from here bring it up Hold, find your balance, step that same foot back into your high lunge, find your center. Release the hands, stepping back into plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. I think someone decided to join us here for the yoga class. Alright, let's take it to the other side, left leg up. And then bend the knee. And when you're ready, go ahead, step between the two hands. Good, find your center. Once you're ready, arms up, reach up, open the chest, hard out to the sky. Find your center first, and then go ahead, take the opposite elbow over the other. Eagle arms, interlace the wrists, hold. Just focusing on the breath. Reaching those elbows up. Inhale, now exhale, shift the weight to the front foot, right knee up, and then cross the right knee over left knee, and coming into your eagle posture. Again, if you don't want to interlace the ankles, that's totally fine, just keep the knees crossed. Allow yourself to sink low, lift the fingers up to the sky, elbows right in front of your face. Good, drop those shoulders away from the ears. Release, bring the right knee up, and then go ahead, grab your right ankle. Again, hold it here if you wish, or extend into your dancer's pose. So give it a shot. Just think about being strong, balanced, and calm. Focusing on the breath. 
Exhale out. You're doing amazing. Hold it. Exhale. Let it go. Let's bring the right knee back up to the sky. And then exhale. Step that right foot back. High lunge. Releasing the hands down. Stepping back into plank. And take your chaturanga. Upward facing dog on your inhale. And exhale when you're ready. Push it back. Downward facing dog. Hold it here. Breathe. Just let all that go. And then once you're ready, hopping over to the front of your mat and taking your standing forward fold. Just taking a moment to really ground those feet, those toes. Just breathe. And then let's take the arms behind your back, interlace the fingers, and allow the hands to fall forward, giving the shoulders a nice stretch. Staying here, breathing in. On your exhale, slowly coming up into your standing posture, and then over to your standing cobra. Opening the chest, heart out to the sky. Coming back to center, inhale, let's reach the arms. Exhale, bring them down to your heart. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, swan dive to the mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step or hop back into plank. And then take your chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold that posture, breathe into your nose. And then a long exhale out as you make your way over to your knees. And then let's go ahead, bring your feet to one side, hips to the other, and switch over to the mat. Coming to the middle of your mat here, go ahead and bend your right knee. What we're gonna do is place the foot to the inside of your left thigh, reach both arms up to the sky, and then slowly start to fold over that left leg. Try to keep the left foot flexed so you can try and reach the toes. Good, the right knee is open, your hips are square. I'm just focusing on the breathing here. Now don't worry if you can't touch your toes. You can always just grab your knee if you need to. Most importantly is that we're feeling a nice stretch in that left hamstring. Slowly come on up, bring the right knee back to your chest, and then cross the right ankle over the left leg. Left elbow to your right knee, and then taking your spinal twist, looking over your right shoulder here. Good, deep breath in, and then exhale, come back to center, and then let's switch it to the other side. Left knee comes into your chest, left foot over to the right thigh, inhale, and then exhale, go ahead, bring yourself all the way over. Hold and breathe. Just finding your breath, allowing your breath to keep you in this present moment. With each exhale, letting go. And slowly, on your last exhale, bring your body up. Bring your left knee towards your body and then cross the ankle over your leg. Right elbow to your left knee, left arm back. And then go ahead, take your spinal twist. One more deep breath in. Keep looking over that left shoulder. And then slowly exhale. Untwist the body. Release the foot. Inhale, both arms reaching up. Both feet are flexed. Exhale, folding from the hips into your seated forward fold. Hold and breathe. Allow yourself to let go here.
focusing on that breath in and exhale out. Allowing yourself to let go of all that no longer serves you and bring in all the positive, vibrant energy that you need for the day, for your life. Slowly, let's come up, reaching both arms up to the sky, releasing the arms, and then go ahead, scoot over a little further to the front of your mat. Inhale, reach, exhale, slowly make your way down, bringing the knees into your chest, just taking a gentle rock side to side, massaging the back. And then from here, opening the knees away and then into your body. A very nice gentle massage for the hips. So circles out and then in. And last one. And then ending with the soles of your feet together, knees open, coming into our Supta Baddha Konasana posture. Allowing the palms of your hands to face up to the sky, inviting beautiful, positive energy into your mind, body, and spirit. When you're ready, go ahead, slowly bring the arms over your head, knees together, and then make your way over to your seated posture on your mat. Feel free to cross your feet in front of you, resting your hands on the knees. And let's take our final breath together here. Inhale, reaching the arms up to the sky, palms together, and then exhale, bring the hands to your heart, bowing down to your heart, thanking yourself for your beautiful practice today. Thank you guys so much for joining me here at the Cambodia Wildlife Sanctuary. Lots of love to you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining us today at the Cambodia Wildlife Sanctuary. If you'd like to learn more about the animals and this wonderful organization, feel free to click the link here and check them out. Lots of love to you guys, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye.